Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to uh, test this Chin's 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery uh, against that 20 cubic foot electric refrigerator. Uh, we've got the Chin's on the Bluetooth app and we can see it's 95% full so we're going to call that completely full because there's really not many amp hours left to be put into that battery. So we're going to start with a 100 amp hour topped off LifePo 4 and we're going to hook up the uh, PSW Con pure sine wave inverter 1500 watts uh, that's a Part of that new line from Reliable Electrics or Reliable Electric and we're going to see exactly how long this battery lasts running that refrigerator. I've been kind of curious. I have a good general idea of how much this refrigerator is taking but we're going to put it on uh, the test and find out how long it will last. We're going to run it all the way down. So first thing, I'm going to just flip on the inverter and then I want to see how much that that thing draws. It had an initial charge, but yeah, I've never been able to register much of a, a discharge in standby mode on that inverter. It's been extremely efficient. You can see right there, zero amp hours of current going out of it. It just shows that it's in standby. So very good. 95% inverters on. Let's plug in this fridge and see what happens. Okay, so as soon as I plugged it in, or as soon as I unplugged it and then plugged it back into this inverter, it went from drawing about 60 watts, which is normal on its cooling cycle, and it did this right away, which I was kind of hoping... I would be able to catch this when it did this. In the first few days of running this refrigerator, it ran pretty much 24 hours between, oh, 50 and 70 watts. And then about every 24 hours or so, 20 to 24 hours, it would do this, where it starts drawing 200 watts thereabouts, and the compressor's not running, and it was just driving me nuts to figure out what was happening. And then on further research about the refrigerator, which was not in the instructions, uh, found out that the automatic defrost that it does on that 24-hour cycle kicks on, and that's what's happening right here. So when I unplugged it and plugged it back into this inverter, uh, it started the defrost cycle. So that takes about 20, 25 minutes to complete. And there you can see it's hitting the uh, Chin's battery at 16.7 amps worth of a draw. That freaked me out in the beginning of learning this refrigerator, but now I know that that's just part of the normal uh, defrost cycle. So I'll show you what the regular cycle looks after it's done doing this. And we're setting the stopwatch to find out how long this battery will last. Okay, it's been running in that defrost for exactly 20 minutes, and it just finished that defrost cycle. Now we're pulling 1.5 watts, and I'm going to try and give you a shot. I've got to lay down on the floor here. It's kind of difficult. There, you have to get this kind of squared away to read the uh, display on that PSW con inverter, but... You can see the voltage is at 13.2. The, the voltage out, 122, 60 hertz. And just drawing 0.5 amps at 28 degrees Celsius. Now the status is empty. There's nothing going on because it's operating properly. There are some codes. If you ever uh, overcharge, over discharge, etc., there's a lot of different codes that that status bar will will uh, put a couple of letters in there for you to determine what has happened. But I've never seen it happen and it's running just fine. So now I'm glad we got that discharge cycle out of the way. It took it from about 96% uh, as what we started with, with that battery back there. 
and we went down to 88% just in the uh, defrost cycle. So now for the next 24 hours, if it runs that long, it should just be on kind of a normal operating. It does this down to about uh, 1.5 at rest. And then when she starts cooling again, it'll operate between 50 and 70 watts. So only 20 minutes in and I'll show you guys just how long this will last. And if you've missed the earlier video about uh, this refrigerator, it's an LG, uh, I think it's LTCS uh, 220W. I'm not sure about those numbers. It's supposed to be a very popular off-grid uses very little uh, power and it has been and it's been working quite well so just to let you know that's what we're testing and we'll check back in later this evening and see how much it's done and then see what happens by tomorrow morning and as an interesting side note the whole time that that thing was in the defrost cycle pulling 16 and a half amps uh, through the inverter. That inverter's fan never kicked on once drawing 16 and a half amps uh, for 20 minutes. So runs very efficiently and very cool. Okay, just went down to 50% and that's after running for about seven and a half hours. So, seven and a half hours in, down to 50%. It's nighttime now. The refrigerator not going to be used at all, and it's cooling off just a little bit. Not cold, but it's in the 60s. So, uh, this might cut into my early morning sleep time to get the finale on it. <laughs> I thought maybe it would go a little longer, but it looks like it's going to be, what, near maybe 14, 15 hours, 15 hours probably at least, since it'll be cooler. But anyway, just drop down to 50%. We'll stay with it till the end and see what that uh, battery will, will do on that refrigerator. Okay, it's the next morning, and down to 10%. It's drawing 47 watts right now. I'm not sure you can see that on that meter, but it says 47 uh, watts being drawn. And we're at 19 hours and 24 minutes, and down to 10%. So we're going to run that all the way out and see what we get. And I'll just show you what else it has uh, <clears throat> being down at 10%, 12.6. Drawn that 47 watts is 4.5 amps. And the individual cells, 3.15, 3.15, 3.15, all the way across all four cells. So it's going down, but holding, holding steady like lithium does. And when it drops, it'll drop fast. But 10%, 19 and a half hours in. So here's why you really got to love the lithium iron phosphate batteries. That Chin's battery is now down to 7% full. <clears throat> and you can see that the voltage is still 12.6. So uh, that's the great thing about these batteries. As the uh, use goes uh, down and you're draining these batteries, that voltage stays consistent. You can see on this inverter here, 12.6 is the reading. The, the uh, refrigerator just shut off. It was at 12.5 when it was pulling about 4.5 amps. And it's back into our little resting mode. It's gone through another cooling cycle. With 7% of that battery, 12.6. So it just holds that uh, nice steady voltage. Uh, 
without triggering any low voltage alarm on the inverter and there we are 20 hours 24 minutes 7% battery left holding 12.6 with with only 7% of that battery left so that's just fantastic So we're loving the efficiency of this LG and I just wanted to make sure I had the uh, model number right because I know some of you will be interested in uh, the efficiency of this uh, full-size refrigerator. So I've got the the manual here and it's that LTCS 20 oh this one's the 20 200 22 220 I guess so anyway that's what it is I it doesn't have any more descriptive name for it but it's becoming a very popular model for uh, off-grid use because as you can see at 20 hours almost 21 hours now and still got 7% left of that battery so that'll probably take another hour maybe even two to run down that last 7% we shall see yeah I just looked again it's it's this one here LTCS 220 that's the only description I can find for it. And I just want to say a <clears throat> couple more words about the uh, devices used in this experiment over the past couple of days. Of course, I've been running that Chins. This is the smart uh, Chins battery. It's got that built-in Bluetooth on the uh, BMS. And the... Uh, Parameters that it shows on the phone app have been uh, extremely accurate. Uh, no deviation whatsoever from the voltmeter at all. Uh, it reads exactly what this reads. And if I put uh, another voltmeter on the battery terminals, completely accurate. So, not absolutely necessary to have that, but that is a pretty nice uh feature to have is a smart battery and then I've been really impressed with this inverter from PSW Con this pure sine wave 1500 watt been using it in a lot of different experiments it has just run 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 and never had any problem with it whatsoever it makes no noise whatsoever I mean it's on now and you cannot hear it I have yet to trip the the cooling fan and it just it's a great little thing whether you were using it as your uh, part of your permanent power station or uh, in an application like this where we're just running it as a backup and as an experiment to see how it'll run this refrigerator and that's a great little system and this is so affordable I think it's about 160 bucks last time I looked and you can't beat that for a 1500 watt pure sine wave so this experiment is coming to an end here shortly and I uh, just want to put a shout out to everyone who sub subscribes to the channel thanks a lot for doing that if you haven't yet go ahead and subscribe Hit the like button if you like this content, and we'll keep rolling it out to you. Appreciate all the support, everybody. And for those of you that are interested in how <clears throat> the cells are uh, acting in the chins, the four cells at 7% full are reading 3.16, all four of them, 3.16 and holding between 12.5 and 12.6 now but that's the cell readings I know a lot of you are interested in that kind of a thing so I just took a peek 3.16 on all four cells 
holding 12.5, 12.6. 12 12.5 if the refrigerator kicks on. 7% left. Almost done. Okay, <clears throat> down to 5%. At 21 hours and 10 minutes and that's about as low as I'm gonna take it I've got precious little sunshine today to get this thing charged back up so I'm gonna go slap it back into the uh, portable generator that I configured and you might have seen that on an earlier video um, I'm gonna try and get this thing charged back up that's about as low as I'm ever gonna to want to take it I uh, could run this for about another hour probably a little longer so I could probably safely call this about a 22 hour test I'm not going to take it down to zero because I do need to get out there and charge it up so I'm going to do that right now 5% and still showing 12.4 uh, on the inverter and on the uh, Bluetooth app well it's a pretty a uh, dark and rainy day. The sun is trying to peek through and got the battery hooked back up on the portable generator. Took 22 hours to take it down to 4% and like I said that's about as low as I want to take it down. I don't need it to go all the way. I was just kind of curious how long I could run that refrigerator. And now I know. <clears throat> Over 20 hours. 22, 23 hours if I was pushing it to zero. But I've got another project I need this battery for, so I'm starting to charge it up. Should be able to get up to some kind of a charge today. Anyway, Thanks everybody for tuning in. This was a fun video to make. Catch you on the next one. Aloha.